Ever since I saw the Pokemon Space World leaks, I've really wanted to be able to play a Pokemon game that contained a bunch of the unreleased Pokemon, and thankfully I happened upon a ROM hack that is going to allow me to do just that. So, using Pokemon Gold and Silver 97 Reforged, I'm gonna play through a Pokemon game only using unreleased Pokemon. This ROM hack is a complete reimagining of the 1997 demo of Pokemon Gold and Silver, and it features not only a brand new story, but a bunch of the beta and unreleased Pokemon in it. And all I'm really gonna do here is only use those Pokemon while on a Nuzlocke run. That's pretty much it. I can't wait to see all these Pokemon actually in game form. And before we get into it, most of the people that watch these videos are actually unsubscribed. And if you do wanna see more of this content, make sure you subscribe, it helps the channel more than you can imagine. But let's go pick our starter. It's finally time to pick my starter Pokemon. And before I look at my options, I should probably clarify the way I'm gonna be doing this run. I will be using Nuzlocke rules, but I'm going to tweak them a little bit as I'm only going to be using unreleased Pokemon, but I do want to see as many of them as possible. So I'm only able to catch one of every unreleased Pokemon. If it faints, it is dead, but I'm not going to do like first Pokemon I see in a new route is the Pokemon I use because in this game, if there's like a regular Pokemon, say like a Spinarak, I'm not catching a regular Spinarak to use in the special game with unreleased Pokemon. No, 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 that is stupid. So with all that being said, that is the one that I really want to use. I think this thing is so freaking cool. It's so adorable. It evolves into like a Loch Ness monster. All right, you. We're absolutely not choosing Chikorita. I don't care that it evolves into something different. I'm not using Chikorita. All right, and what are you? Oh, it's a little fire bear. Oh my God. Oh, I kind of want to use him. But I also kind of want to use the water Pokemon. It's just like the regular games. The fire and water are both so good. I'm going to choose this starter because then my rival will pick the water starter. And then we'll be able to see all of the evolutions for both of these instead of having to see stupid Chikorita. So you know what? I really wanted the water one, but this one's still pretty cool. It's, it's a flame bear. He's... He's gonna do bear things, so I, it's still gonna be wonderful. I was about to say, where's the rival battle? Yeah, I know, I, I was very confused. But I do respect him waiting till we got out of Oak's office to start the battle. I assume Oak doesn't want me ruining his office with a a bear that is on fire and then the Loch Ness monster. That, that feels like it could cause a lot of problems in a, a small little office room, but you know what? This is really freaking cool, guys. I don't know, there's just something about this, right? Obviously, it's not a brand new Pokemon game, but it feels like a brand new Pokemon game. And I mean, these are, you know, the games I was brought up on, right? Like, I played a lot of Pokemon Yellow, but Pokemon Gold is the game I've probably played the most of, at least when I was a kid. And uh, to play this game, but, you know, reimagined with Pokemon that were almost actually included, oh, this is something special. Not even a possibility of a loss, it's... Way too easy for Smokey over here. Victory Road already? Okay, so we know where Victory Road is. That's pretty sweet. But we also already have Pokeballs, so the Nuzlocke's begun. We can go catch our first Pokemon. And there is this little, uh, what, two by two grass spot. So, new Pokemon. This might just be my final encounter. I've tried far too many times and I've only gotten Rattata and Pidgey, but finally. Okay, it is technically a Hoppip, but it's its beta form and I'm gonna include that with this. Basically anything new that I find, I'm gonna catch it because we're gonna have fun here. The whole point of this is to show off things that were never used and that are different and just have fun. And this Hoppip is very different and honestly kind of terrifying. Incredibly cursed, but Hoppip is not the strongest Pokemon. It's not usually a really scary Pokemon, and this one might just steal the souls of my enemies. Ooh, there we go! Nice! Okay. It took a while to get the Hoppip, and I'm pretty determined to make this Pokemon stick around. Ooh, okay. Silent Hills. This place is very interesting. Uh, you don't battle me either. Ah, but there's a lot of trainers up ahead. Interesting. I don't know if I'm ready. I would like another member of the squad. And there's no way there's not something cool in these spooky, spooky woods. 
something cooler than a Pidgey in the Spooky Spooky Woods. Wait, what is Paramite? Okay, that is, I think, the pre-evolution of freaking Paris. That's something new, and that is absolutely something we'll snag. I mean, look how terrifying this thing is. It's coming out of the mushroom, and it's... I don't know, man. There's something about this thing that is very, very creepy. Paris and Parasect, like, you know, when you actually find out what's going on with those Pokemon, they're, they're somewhat creepy, and, you know, like, you can really get the full effect when you read into it. But just looking at that guy, you immediately know what's going on. And, oh man, they, I honestly wish they didn't cut that. What is this? Oh my god, okay, there are way more new Pokemon that these trainers have. Like, I wasn't expecting all these cool baby forms. Baby Meowth over here. Which is just cute Meowth with money floating over it, I guess? I don't, I don't really know what's going on here, but it's, I, again, like... Like the little baby Parasect thing. This is much better than Meowth too. I, I don't know, it's just adorable Meowth with more money, right? Like, if I'm gonna have to have a cat, I want the cat to have as much money as possible. It's just gonna make my life better. Is that sprite different? I don't know, it has like the dots under its eyes, but I don't know if that's... I don't know if that's really much different. Like, maybe it's tweaked from the final design, but... I don't think that's different enough that I'd really mess around with Hoot Hoot. Unless Noctowl looks completely different or it just evolves into a different owl, I'd probably stay away from our, our pal Hoot Hoot over here. Oh, thank God. Okay. Wait, what? Are you kidding me? Like, there's still more grass here? I really need to go heal up. That is crazy! Okay, the start of this game is a kind of a gauntlet. We have a forest that had a bunch of trainers, and then you leave, and there's still more grass, a bridge, trainers. This is crazy, and another new Pokemon. Tang Trip. Well, Tang Trip, as much as I'd like to destroy you with a, a single ember, I still don't have a fire move on Smokey. It's getting kind of crazy over here. Okay, finally. Where is the Pokemon Center? I need it desperately. Oh, wow, so I did have to come here. What's going on, Falconer? Yeah, no, I'm I'm gonna go challenge your gym at some point, I assume. Okay. This is so interesting. I mean, the story is so different. Wow. I so I have to go beat the elder in the brass tower and then I can fight him. But will you make me cool Pokeballs? No. Alright, so I need to get cut to move forward here. But there might be a brand new Pokemon in this route, so let's just see, why not? Nidoran is cool, but obviously I can't catch that. Ooh, okay! Tang Trip, that is very, very interesting. Another really interesting thing with Pokemon like this is if one of these Pokemon ends up evolving into a non-beta form or just an unreleased Pokemon, I think I'm just gonna have to put it in the PC and that's gonna be kind of what I do. Like, I'm just kind of gambling. Like, if I catch this thing, I can't let it evolve into a, a, a Tangela. But then if it does have Tang growth in this game, then that would be fine. I don't know. This is gonna be an adventure. I The rules are very loosey-goosey with this. The whole point is to see new things, have fun, and hopefully not lose. So I'm not really gonna worry too much about, like, the little details. Long Vine? That's a long vine. What, what is a long vine? Raises Pokemon catch rate? Hold? Wait, whoa, 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 what's that mean? Like, if you hold this, I can catch Pokemon easier? Or it's easier to catch that Pokemon because it's holding it? I really want answers there, but I, I'm just gonna go with it. That's very interesting. Brass Tower. Ooh, immediately into a battle? That is not what I expected. Okay. I'm pretty sure Bellsprout Tower, like the bottom floor, there's no battles. The second floor had some battles, but you don't have Bellsprout, do you? Ah, okay, you have Hoot Hoot. I think Hoot Hoot was in the first regular tower too, but I am interested. Is this place gonna have like a completely different Pokemon they all have or what? Ugh. I don't know, this is, this whole game is so exciting. What do you have next? Grimby? Wait, what's Grimby? Is that, is that supposed to be Ditto? Grimby? I don't... I don't know what this is! I'm so thrown off by a Grimby. Okay. What is Grimby? <laughs> this is... Wow, I don't... I don't know what half these things are. It's throwing me off. 
Like, I mean, he kind of has like the the diglet nose, but it could also just be a mouth with a tooth. I don't I don't really know. It's it's kind of messing with me. I it's not like transforming or anything. It's just hardening and pounding. It's kind of like acting as if it's a like a baby Grimer. I don't I don't know. I guess yeah. I guess baby Grimer would make sense with Grimby. I don't. It would look more like a Ditto though. But we did finally learn Ember, though, and that's all that really matters. What is this, twins? Oh my god, we've gone against so many of these trainers, I just kind of assumed that, that nothing else was gonna be new here. But this is interesting, I completely forgot this Pokemon existed. I also don't know what this Pokemon is supposed to be. Like, we've seen a lot of the baby forms that got cut, but I think twins is just a brand new Pokemon? Just a Gen 2 ghost? I don't know! Maybe it took like Miss Drevis' role? I really do not remember. But I absolutely want one of these guys. Or I guess bo both of them. They are twins. Another one! Rin Ring? What is this guy? It's adorable! I mean, this is also better than the Meowth Cat. I don't know what this is! Why is it pursuing me? Oh my god! This battle is terrifying and also so exciting. It, too many things going on at once, it's, it's sensory overload. And also, how many bells does this cat have on it? Like, I get that it's Rin Ring, but that's an excessive amount of bells. Ah, oh, that is just not a good look to start this. I mean, Beta Hoppip was kind of on the border of what was actually good and not, but this thing kept pursuing. I couldn't really switch, and the pursuit did so much damage, and the absorb did so little damage. I don't know, I just want to catch my own Rin Ring. Smokey's evolving? Oh my god, I wasn't ready for this at all. Look at this guy! Look at his incredible mane and that smiling happy face. Volbear. Wow, uh, what a, what a tremendous Pokemon here, wow. Oh, look at this guy, he's so happy. Curstraw, there are so many cool Pokemon we're going against, but I can't find any of them. Are they all like nighttime encounters in this freaking accursed tower? Cause I can only find Rattata and it's starting to wear on me. You know what, maybe this game took a voodoo doll and of me and started poking it, right? I mean, come on, what is this? And also, a voodoo doll Pokemon? I mean, this thing is so freaking clever and cool and disturbing and terrifying, but, but all that together makes such a cool Pokemon that we have to have, man. Oh, I might be relying on you guys to help me find a few of these Pokemon because I... I'm struggling. What is that statue? Ho- wait, that's ho -O? Are you trying to tell me that statue is ho -O? Am I blind? Oh, I guess I kind of see it now. The wings just... Okay, I... Not everything translates to these graphics well. It, it is what it is. Okay, finally, the Elder. Let's go, okay. Let's get this over with, man, okay? I'm showing none of the proper respect. I'm stealing the bell as I leave. Let's just, let's battle so I can wipe the floor with you and your Pokemon, old man. Oh. Okay, Falkner. I'm assuming you have no new Pokemon that are gonna be exciting, so let's get this over with so I can move on and catch all of the cool Pokemon in the world. I do like your outfit, and also what Pokemon is on his arm. Never mind, that looks different. Or just like a regular bird. Definitely not a Pidgey. So I'm actually, maybe I am interested in this, okay. Also, don't ask me why I let off with the grass Pokemon. I know it wasn't my brightest move, but if I can 1v1 a Pidgey with Grace and Allen here, I feel like that would be worth the price of admission. Let's stun spore this guy. Wait, it doesn't affect Hoot Hoot? What do you mean it doesn't affect Hoot Hoot? Okay, we, we killed the Pidgey, which was cool, but maybe it's time to just go into to old reliable here with Smokey. Don't really want to mess with this hoot hoot and let it obliterate my face, yeah. 
Probably got lucky in the last turn, the fact that it didn't attack. So let's just get you out of here and see what the mysterious bird is. Final thing, Pidgeotto? Then what was on his arm? This is just like the regular thing you go against. I mean, maybe it was supposed to be a Pidgeotto on his arm, but I've been duped, hoodwinked, bamboozled. You know what? Yeah, no, Pidgeotto, just, just get out of here, dude. I don't care at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I know. I'm pretty awesome. Just fork over the gym badge, uh, bucko, and uh, let me get on my way. I'm beyond sick of you and your shenanigans at this point. What do you want? Do you have an egg? Or what? What's going on? Okay. I can keep the egg. Now, is this a new baby Pokemon or is it Togepi? Because it's really going to determine how I use this egg. Ooh, there we go! Alright, is it breakfast or new? New or breakfast? New? New! Oh, look at this thing! Oh, God! Why does Clef look like this in this game? Oh, I'm not using this! Anything in the grass? Anything new in the grass, please, I'm begging you. Anything new in the grass, yeah! Nice. I'm pretty sure this thing's eventually going to evolve into a Pokemon that I can't use, but I really love this Mon. It's a brand new typing, which is refreshing and nice, and oh, checks this thing, it's very fun. I don't know, I love it, I love it, I love it. There we go, nice, oh man, okay. Let's see what else is in the grass. Yes, it's the little Growlithe guy. Oh my God, it's so adorable. Okay. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a bunch of Pokemon like this where it's just the baby forms and I either decide to not evolve it or we just roll the dice to see if it evolves into something new. Like I do think that Tang Trip here will evolve into Tangela, but then I'm pretty sure it'll evolve again into Tang Growth, allowing me to use it but if this thing just eventually turns into Arcanine, it, it might have to chill in the box, but until then, I mean, this thing is so freaking adorable. Game house? What does that even mean? I'm so interested. Okay. Sure. Okay. Yeah, I, I can do that, I guess. Oh. What do I get if I do that? Is it just, you play the N64 in here? Oh, this is so bizarre, but I think I love it. Okay, so this is happening. This happened and now we have toothpaste colored Tangela, but I promise you it evolves into Tangrowth or beta Tangrowth, unreleased Tangrowth, and it's staying on the team because if I put it in the box, I would never get it to evolve and I really don't know how it evolves, but it will evolve and it's an honorary unreleased Pokemon, at least for the time being. Is this supposed to be Mime Jr.? What am I looking at? I, I don't think I've ever seen this before. It's... It's, it's just so, it's so awful. I don't, I just, I just, I just don't think I understand what's, what's happening. <laughs> All right, gate. Ooh, is it rival battle time? Okay. Ooh, interesting. Luckily for me, I actually went and healed a little bit ago, so we should be in pretty good shape. But if not, this could have been brutal. There's a bunch of Pokemon in the grass and I meant trainers, but that is one of the best unreleased Pokemon. And the fact that we don't have that as an actual Pokemon today is, it, there, there's just something wrong with it. it. It's truly a travesty. I mean, this is one of the best Pokemon I've ever seen. And, and the fact that the only way I get to play against that is in a, you know, ROM hack like this, it doesn't sit right with me and I desperately need this thing on the team. Are you kidding me? My God, I love this Mon so much. Look how happy it is. It's just the happiest little guy. Let's set up a little bit. I mean, we will be going against the evolved form of their starter, but either way, we'll probably destroy it. Yeah, that's the end of you, but 
You will be missed, little guy. That's that's for darn sure. What else is here? Rin Ring? You have one of those too? Why does the rival have all of the cool Pokemon? I don't know where to find these guys, but I want them desperately. I... I, I want the, the cool electric tiger guy. I want the the cat that rings its bells for everyone to hear far and near. And I would love to have this little guy too, but you know what? It's okay. I want to see both starters. And I do want to see this guy grow up to be all big and strong. Not strong enough to beat me, of course, but... I am still excited to watch its journey. I didn't really expect Bugsy to just be on the water here, right? I, I don't even know where there are any bugs to catch. They definitely made the right decision changing up where his gym would be, but there's, there's just a ladder to this underground place? Oh, all right, this is interesting. <laughs> where am I? What? Wait, what? Okay, we're the, the docks? Sure, but w can someone give me an old rod, please? I do not. But what? No. Aw, oh, you're teasing me. I don't even know where to get a rod. Wait, what? Oh, wow, I completely forgot that Slowbro's tail is just a Pokemon in this. Oh, man. That is so freaking cool! And apparently that's not super effective? What typing are you? I mean, I'd imagine it'd be rock water or I guess rock psychic, but it went for poison sting, so maybe it's like poison psychic or... I don't... wait, poison water? I don't know. I'm really interested in this thing, though. I mean, look at this guy. It's crazy. I don't know. Wow, this is... I didn't expect to see that at all. All right, Bugsy, I'm gonna be honest. Your trainers were incredibly easy. I think you're gonna be a pushover, but I do like your new outfit that you're rocking. So let's, uh, let's start out. Let's start out with a spinner rack. Yeah, sure, that's, that's funny. That is level 18 though. And I have been talking a lot of crap as I beat all of your trainers. Now I did just almost obliterate the spinner rack with a baby bird Pokemon that's two levels below the Spinarak, but still, I'm feeling pretty good about my chances better looking Bugsy. So let's uh let's let's see what cool Pokemon you have behind the curtains. Tripstar. Oh, it's this guy! Oh, this is what Ladybug evolves into in this game. Oh my god, I'd completely forgotten about this. I very much remember this. Oh God, okay, I need to switch, but I very much remember this Pokemon from just all of the leaks and he looks so angry, but also kind of ridiculous. I don't know, there's something about it that I really, no! That I really like. I thought I was getting clever with quick attack and I was not. All right, let's bring in Smokey the bear and just stop messing around. Don't like that you're level 18, but you are probably the ace Pokemon because you are a, like one of the unreleased Pokemon and like an angry you know, ladybug dude. So that, I mean, that would make sense, but man, oh man, that was some scary damage. And we've lost a Pokemon. All right, Pinsir, okay. Level 20 pincer? Oh my god, I think I have to sand attack here, but Fury Cutter is only scary if they hit too many of them in a row. So if we're able to get a few of these off, we might be able to save ourselves. but Vice Grip might do a ridiculous amount of damage. I, I think we just have to go for the Ember and just hope we can live at least one Vice Grip. Right, how much does this do? A little bit less than half. I don't think it's worth switching, but I do think it's worth healing up just to make sure, even if there's a crit, even if there's any funny business, we still live one. Okay, we do, and we actually live pretty decently, so. 
They missed this one, and we should be good to go. I don't know if they're gonna heal. But this was actually really terrifying. I don't know, there's something about, like, just not having any concept of, like, what's going into this game, like, what the levels are gonna be, what Pokemon you're ever gonna see. It makes it a little bit more difficult than I, I kind of initially expected, but I'll take it. Hey, gym number two down, and now I just need to go find my own trip star because I want that very intense, evil-looking bug. I guess it's time to see what's on the other side, which is a... Is this a desert area? Oh my god, this is very cool. Like, do I find Pokemon on these tiles? Do I talk to the cactus? Like, what do, what do we do here? I very much want to find a wild Pokemon, but we might have to battle this guy before I can really find out what's here. I, a, a wild question to ask me, but I don't have time for your tomfoolery. Bird dude, no! No. Okay, as long as you don't show me, you know, uh, chicks, uh, I'll be fine, but I I want to go catch a cool Pokemon! I don't know if it's bad luck or if there's just no unreleased or beta Pokemon in this grass, but I feel like this is the perfect place to end it. If you guys do want me to do more episodes of this series, let me know. Just leave a like, leave a comment, and also, if you have any knowledge on this game and there are some beta or unreleased Pokemon that I missed just because I don't know what's going on, let me know and I'll snag them for the next one, but that's enough for me. I'll see you guys in the next episode, and until then, peace.